Hi, this is Gary Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you feel secure because today the quote of the day is all about rejection and it says, rejection is the sand in the oyster, the irritation that ultimately produces the pearl by Burke Wilkinson. As young children, there are two driving forces that push our behaviors. And these are, number one, to find connection, and number two, to avoid rejection. Avoiding rejection is very important for our survival since a child needs its mother in order to survive. Therefore, the baby learns to avoid rejection in any way. And to make sure that the mother doesn't reject the child, there are special hormones that are released when breastfeeding to ensure that there is a good bonding between the mother and the child. But what if the mother chooses not to breastfeed the baby? Then this baby learns different types of behaviors that will ensure that their mother will not reject them. And these behaviors will influence a child for the rest of their lives if they are living unconsciously. Feeling accepted and not rejected is so important for everyone because of the importance it holds for a child's survival. A child would die if it was rejected by its mother, so we hold the belief that rejection can kill us. But this is not exactly true nowadays. But if our self-image is tied to what other people think of us and how we relate to other people, then fear of rejection becomes a big thing because it is a threat to how we see ourselves. This creates a lot of stress and anxiety. If you define yourself by how, how popular you are or how liked you are by other people, then any threat to how popular or liked you are becomes a major source of anxiety. It all has to do with how confident you are in your ability to care for your own needs and to make yourself happy without needing anyone else to make you happy for you. When you reach the stage where you stop fearing rejection, because uh, from others because you can understand that you can still be alone and still be happy then your anxiety levels about the subject of being left alone slowly subside and you become much more likely to attract the relationships that you desire because you are less needy and less fearful and this is true for all relationships in business and in partnership and even with friends and your children you become more attractive to others, be they any, any type of relationship. You become more attractive to anyone when the other person sees you as someone who can potentially contribute to their own happiness and well-being. When we fear rejection, we try to change who we are to become more compatible to the other person and more likable. But if we are not being true to our real self and are not showing our real self then we are much less likely to find real friends, lovers, and also will be much less likely to have a catastrophic business relationship if we are not true to ourselves. A fear of rejection may also lead a person to more solitude because they fear rejection or failure. And this is actually not so bad if you use this time of solitude to improve and develop yourself into the person that you want to be. Learning new skills will help you build your self-esteem. Think to yourself, if you would be attracted to another person who behaves and reacts as you do now, would you want to form a relationship with you as you currently are? Why would you or why would you not? Answer these questions. What wouldn't you find impressive or likable about your character if someone else came with the same behavior as you? But please also, it's important to be true to yourself and not overly critical. Think about an earlier time when a person found you perfect just the way you are. Did you change from that time? What can you do or change in yourself to make yourself more attractive to other people? This is not always an easy exercise to perform because we are fixed in our behaviors and most of them we do not recognize because they are so automatic. When you see yourself as a likable person, then even if you are not perfect, there will be a good match for you and you will believe that you will find it. And you are also more likely to find it. In fact, by being uh, who you truly are in any relationship, 
This will be a great filter for finding the perfect match for you in all and any type of relationship. But if you don't see yourself as a likable person, then working on this on yourself is of utmost importance. This is what you need to do first. Do what you need to make yourself more likable in your own eyes first, because you will always attract the mirror image of you, whether you believe it or not. If you are not pleased with who you are, then make the necessary changes. Become more independent. Become happier by engaging in activities that make you happy. Work on the way you dress. Work on your body, on your diet, and your hair. Yes, all of these are important. It is also important to learn to be assertive and tell your true feelings and thoughts openly, even if you feel that you may be rejected uh, because of them. And But overall, if you practice telling and speaking about your feelings and how you feel and, and what how things affect you, then you will become better at it because practice makes perfect. And the more you speak openly of your true feelings, the better you will become at it doing so. Being honest about your emotions allows the right people to move towards you and the wrong people to naturally drift away from you. Most people overall also prefer someone who is honest and open with them. So you will become more attractive to more people the more open you are about your feelings and about how, how you see things. When you focus on your actions and be the kind of person that you wish to be, this will move you in the direction of relationships that are right for you. The more you can learn from any rejection and from your fear of rejection itself, the more you will allow yourself to become the pearl inside the oyster by improving yourself to be the best you can be. So, as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a set of questions uh, that, will, that you want to ask yourself to help you improve your life. The answers will help you see things that perhaps you don't see about yourself right now. So the question of the day is, what do I think is the reason behind my fear of rejection? Being alone or not being good enough? What, what is the reason behind my fear of rejection? And what do I need to do to become better at being alone or to become good enough in my own eyes? Now start to take small baby steps at improving yourself in the right direction for you. And I also recommend writing this in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and see your answers and help you move your life to a better place for you. Now the affirmation of the day is, I have the ability to do what I want and in spite of my fear of rejection. I have the ability to do what I want in spite of my fear of rejection. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to transform your life. So I hope you liked this video about rejection. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it has helped you and been of value to you to help you improve your self-esteem and to be more uh, open to other people. Now, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel. If you want these types of videos, also bring, ring the notification button so that you will get notifications when I upload these types of videos. Also, visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to do with moving you to a healthier, happier place. Thank you.